Oh. Fragile, today's a good day. Hi, uh, yeah, so this is the um, overhead rig, which I can then show you what is in these awesome packages. Hope you enjoy. Now, I think I'll chime in here and let you know, these are all supplied by uh, Camera Hire, which is an Australian company. They're pretty awesome. This isn't sponsored in any way. We've got a big shoot coming up and we're doing a lens test, so let's go. I'm so excited to be filming on the Atlas Orion Anamorphic A set. It, this frame is huge. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing and I may just film more videos in this crazy cinematic aspect ratio. One thing I really wanted to know about anamorphic lenses is a couple of things like, what is the field of view you get when filming on such wide lenses? And then also, is it even worth using these thousands of dollar lenses versus when I can buy Rokinon Prime lenses? Because when we compare the price differences, it's a lot cheaper. In this video, we're gonna find out exactly what to expect when using anamorphic lenses. The Atlas lenses we're filming on is actually a two times screen, which is uh, quite wide. <laughs> um, you can see my mic's there and you can see so much more. But I like to bring it in a little bit, which I think looks a lot better, especially for viewing on YouTube. If this was going to a bigger screen TV, sure, I'd rock the two times or a creative decision because at the end of the day, these tools are all for more creative decisions. So it's really up to you. Just know you're not necessarily locked in the squeeze that you have to apply in post. But I'll be showing you that a bit later in this video about how that all works. But first, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go side by side and I'm gonna show you what the 40 mil looks like and the field of view you would need on your own camera so you can get a comparison of what it looks like. So a couple of things we can take away from that lens testing is the field of view. So with anamorphic lenses, pretty much the biggest factor when picking an anamorphic lens, not so much the lens flaring and those cool blue streaks, it's actually the field of view. If we put these 65 mil shots back up side by side, you can see that the field of view is so much wider, so much wider. And if we go to the two times here, you can see even more in the frame. But what isn't changing is that distortion on my face. It, it's staying the same the whole time. And that's what I like about anamorphics, really. You get to tell so much more in your one frame and see so much more without the, the weird fisheye GoPro look, which I don't really like. Once you've filmed your anamorphic shots and you want to import it into your editing software and edit with it, just because your camera may have been displaying it doesn't necessarily mean it has transformed. So you can shoot anamorphic on any camera really and then just transform it in post. You don't need a special camera. So once we've got it in, the footage obviously looks a bit wonky here. So what we have to do is we just need to squish it down two times crop. You just got to go to 50 and then there you go. This is a 65 mil all cropped in there. Looks amazing, but obviously we're gonna zoom ours in a little bit. So the way you do that is I'm just gonna bring this one up to 50 and you can see it's adjusting it with Z, Y axis, X axis, 150. We've got the zoom in, we've got the cropped and that's pretty much it. And then you just play with it, make sure it's all good. And then that looks super awesome. So it's not super hard editing and working with anamorphic in post. You've just got to adjust the squeeze, which Y axis, x-axis it's all pretty straightforward so don't feel intimidated whatsoever with dealing with it in post so there we go i hope you consider subscribing if you liked what you saw and i may be filming more in anamorphic let me know if you've ever filmed in anamorphic lenses actually before and what you like about them what you don't like about them do you actually think this is more cinematic um and let me know if you think the spherical lenses which are literally thousands of dollars cheaper is just as good